Good morning, Trojans, and welcome to the Daphne News Network. I'm Shelby. And I'm Presley. And here is your morning news. First, let's stand and remain silent for our fallen Trojans, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And here are your Debbie Children's birthdays! Happy birthday, Trojans. Now let's see what we have for lunch. Right now it's 47, and it feels like 41 with a 3% chance of rain, and, it's, and it might rain. It might rain. Yeah, it might rain. Yeah. End of story. I get it, you got a small car. Something else might be small, but you know. I see why you got a dent. Come on, man. Straighten it out. You got 15 feet over here. And, and, you left your car open. Jeez. Now it's time for sports. The Trojans return to play at home on Tuesday, February 28th. Daphne faces Davidson in the first area game of the season. It's also youth night. All youth soccer players wearing a jersey will be able to get into the game for free. JV kicks off at 5.30 and varsity at 7. In DHS softball news, Kylie Stokes hit her first home run of many more tallying three RBIs in the JV game. Raylan Swan was 4 for 6 with two singles, a double, and a triple in her two games yesterday night. Ayati was 3 for 4 in the nightcap after being out with a broken shoulder for a month. Ayati's clutch RBI came in the bottom of the ninth with no outs. Thank you. 